We're asked to consider the function f of x and determine the general antiderivative. The general antiderivative is the family of functions that have a derivative equal to f of x. To find the antiderivative, we need to determine the indefinite integral of f of x. If we take a look at our notes below, the integral of f of x is equal to big F of x plus c, where big F of x is the antiderivative of f of x, the integrand function, which means the derivative of big F of x is equal to little f of x. So to find the antiderivative, we need to integrate 9x to the 11th plus 4x to the 6th minus 9x squared minus 3, where the variable of integration is x indicated by differential x. And now to integrate, we will use the integration formulas shown here below, where the integral of x to the power of n is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 divided by the quantity n plus 1 plus c, and the integral of a constant is equal to the constant times the variable of integration plus c. We will integrate each term one at a time, and then we'll add the plus c to represent any constant at the end. So the integral of 9x to the 11th is equal to 9 times the integral of x to the 11th. We'll notice how n is equal to 11, which gives us x to the power of 11 plus 1, which is 12, divided by 12. And then we have plus the integral of 4x to the 6th, which is equal to 4 times the integral of x to the 6th, where n is 6, which gives us x to the 7th divided by 7. And we have minus the integral of 9x squared, which is 9 times the integral of x to the second, which is equal to x to the third divided by 3. And then minus the integral of 3, where again 3 is a constant, and therefore the integral is 3x. And then we have plus c to represent any constant. And now let's go ahead and simplify. Notice 9 and 12 share a common factor of 3. There are 3 3's in 9 and 4 3's in 12. So big F of x is equal to, here we have 3 fourths x to the 12th. In the next product, nothing simplifies, giving us plus 4 sevenths x to the 7th. Next, 9 and 3 share a common factor of 3. There's 1 3 and 3 and 3 3's and 9, giving us minus 3x cubed. And then we have minus 3x plus c. So big F of x is the general antiderivative, which means if we differentiate big F of x, we should get the integrand function f of x or the given function. So let's go ahead and check that. Let's find big F prime of x to verify our work. The derivative of big F of x is equal to 3 fourths times the derivative of x to the 12th, which is 12x to the 11th, plus 4 sevenths times the derivative of x to the 7th, which is 7x to the sixth, minus three times the derivative of x cubed, which is 3x squared, minus three times the derivative of x, which is one, plus the derivative of a constant, which is zero. Let's go ahead and simplify. Four and 12 share a common factor of four. There is one four and four, and three fours and 12, which gives us nine x to the 11th, 7 divided by 7 simplifies to 1, giving us plus 4x to the 6th. Then we have minus 9x squared minus 3. And notice how big F prime of x is equal to the original function f of x, verifying we did find the general antiderivative correctly. I hope you found this helpful.